حي على الفلاح حي على رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقطة من لساني يفقه قولي ربي زدني علما أجمعين إن شاء الله May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you, brother and sister. We are going to revise. Now, every day we will have certain drills. Huh? When I show you my palm, that is the drill of damir. Huh? Singular is damir. Damir means pronoun. What is the plural of damir? Damair. Huh? You will be hearing these things, hopefully, you know, you will get in your mind. Huh? The ma'er, huh? which means pronouns. Huh? Brothers and sisters, again I repeat, for some of our new brothers and sisters who came, huh? see the palm, brother, four fingers and one thumb. First finger, masculine. How many sections are there? Three. So, hua, homa, hom. Second finger, brothers and sisters, three sections, but that's Feminine. So we say, Hia, Huma, Hunna. Third finger, it's second person, second person masculine. We call it Mukhatab. What do we call it? Mukhatab. We call it Mukhatab. So brother, the, the three sections, Anta, Antuma, Antum. The fourth finger, Huh? is uh, a second person feminine. So we have anti, antuma, antunna. So you see, you can see here. And if you count in the beginning like this, as soon as you finish here, 
you come here, it means it's a different gender. As soon as you finish here, come here, it means it's a different gender. So it will help you to master it. And this is very important that we master it. And we, this is our foundation. And on it, we will be building different rooms in the, you know. So, and this, brother and sister, is for first person. Mutakallim. Ana and Nahna. Both for masculine and feminine. Are you with me ready? Three times we will say whole of these things. Ready? Hua, Huma, Hum, Hia, Huma, Hunna, Anta, Antuma, Antum, Anti, Antuma, Antunna, Ana, Nahnu. Excellent. MashaAllah. One more time. Hua, Huma, Hum, Hia, Huma, Hunna. Anta, Antuma, Antum, Anti, Antuma, Antunna, Ana, Nahnu. One more time still. Hua, Huma, Hum, Hia, Huma, Hunna. Anta, Antuma, Antum, Anti, Antuma, Antunna, Ana, Nahnu. Inshallah. Okay. And brothers and sisters, the song that I have made. Later on I will sing and every day I will, somewhere in between I'll fit that song. So that will also remind you and refresh you. Now we did verbs, remember? I want to repeat a little bit more about verbs. Huh? Because we are laying the foundation of verbs huh? and try to understand everything that is to be understood in a simple and enjoyable way. Huh? I told you, brothers and sisters, all Arabic verbs, all of them, all of them, you can trace the root of it. And 99.5% will be three letters. Huh? Three letters. Then there are some four-letter verbs. Huh? i just give you an example. Tarajama. Huh? What is it? Tarajama. He translated Zalzala, it shook violently. And then Waswasa, he whispered. And there is another word which is very popular in Urdu. Kah kah. Usne kah kah lagaya. He laughed very loudly. So, brother, that is not Urdu, that's Arabic. Kah kah means to laugh very loudly. Huh? So these are the four letter verbs. But our focus is on three letter verbs. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? It came in our dars, Aina Hamidun. Where is Hamid? What was the reply? Kharaja. What was the reply? Kharaja. He went out. So then we started last week with this. Kharaja. See the three letters, brothers and sisters? Three letters. Now the scholars of Arabic grammar have done a lot of things to make us learn everything with ease, you know. They put a pattern on it. And that pattern will keep on increasing. But the root will still be same. What will be the root of the pattern? fa a la See, okay, first kalima, second, and third. Three letters, fa'ala. Huh? We will say fa kalima, ain kalima, lam kalima. In English, you will say first radical, second radical, and third radical. It's better that we uh, should also understand uh, the grammar from the Western scholars' point of view. And they use these terms. So if you'll read some Arabic grammar books written by Western scholars, they will say first radical, second radical, third radical, which only means fa kalima, ain kalima, and lam kalima. So all the verbs in the Quran and in the Arabic language can be traced back to 
Fa Kalima, Ain Kalima and Ram Kalima. And this process is very interesting and fascinating, brother. Inshallah we'll learn slowly, slowly and, and increase our knowledge. So brother, Kha Raja. What is Kha? Fa Kalima. What is Ra? Ain Kalima. What is Jeen? Lam Kalima. Okay? And if I tell you any other word, you will also do the same way. In English, Kha is first radical, Ra is second radical, Jim is third radical. Huh? Now I want you to look at the difference. Huh, brother? Kha Raja, now I am writing Zahaba, then I am writing Jalasa, and then I am writing uh, Raja. These are the four uh, verbs uh, Dr. Abdurrahim has used in book one. Huh? Because book one concentrates on nouns. Huh? And this we will study in great detail in book two. But we are, we are preparing our ground huh? to, to come to book two with good uh, preparation. And, you know? Do you see here, brother? What do you see? Fa kalima, ain kalima, lam kalima. Fa kalima, ain kalima, lam kalima. Fa kalima, ain kalima, lam kalima. Okay. Now I write down something else. I write down here two very popular verbs. Samia, and then I'm writing shariba. Okay, brothers and sisters. Samia. What is the meaning of Samia? He heard. Huh? Or he listened. Shariba. He drank. Okay? Fine. What do you see here? Fa kalima. Ain kalima. Lam kalima. First radical. Second radical. Third radical. Okay? Are you with me? Now I write down two more verbs, brother. Karuma. And I'm writing another word here. Bauda. Okay. Fa kalima, ain kalima, lam kalima. First radical, second radical, third radical. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, if you were to observe this, you will find something. And I told you last time. That fa kalima in all of them has a fata. And the lam kalima, all of them has a fata. So that is the rule. All the verbs, the root, in the root form, fa kalima will always, always have a fata. And lam kalima will always, always have a fata. And what about ain kalima? Ain kalima can have these three vowel signs. It can have a fata, it can have a kasara, and it can have a tamba. Huh? So this we have to be very observant, you know. For example, samia. See the ain kalima has a kasra. Shariba, ain kalima has a kasra. Karuma, ain kalima has a dhamma. Huh? Bauda, ain kalima has a dhamma. So be, watch for it, okay. Now, these verbs are called healthy verbs. What are they called? Healthy verbs. Alfialo sahi. Healthy verbs. But if something is healthy, then it has to be somebody who is very weak or sick. Huh? Because for a healthy person, there is also, also someone who is not healthy, which means he is sick. So there are some verbs which are called weak verbs. I won't call them sick verbs. They are all weak verbs. Now this is just a general information. Any verb, huh? any verb, brother and sister, whether it has fa kalima or ain kalima or lam kalima, if it has vow and ya, are you with me? Huh? If it has vow and ya, then it is a weak verb. What is it? It's called weak verb. Huh? Okay, this weak verbs, brothers and sisters, Dr. Saib Abdurrahim in his, uh, 
in his vision and farsightedness has put them at the end of book two. He has put them at the end of book two. So we won't worry. Huh? So we will not be studying any verb which has got vow or ya in it till we come to the end of the book. Huh? In the meantime, we'll become stronger in our sahi verbs, in which verb there will be no vow, there will be no ya. Huh? There will be no vow. As you can see, I didn't put any with vow and ya. Okay? So keep that in mind. Vow and ya will make the verb weak. Okay? Now, having uh, you know, understood this, then last time we tried to conjugate. Do you remember conjugation? Did you have any difficulty in conjugation, Sister Salma? Uh, Abir? You were, uh, Sister Naima? You were able to do it? Uh, Fatima? Inshallah? Sister Maimuna, you found uh, conjugation okay? Inshallah. Huh? Brother Muhammad? Abdul Qadir? Brother? You are young, intelligent, bright. You should be on the top of the class. You should understand everything that goes on. And faster. Okay, now brother, we start the conjugation. This is slowly, slowly, I'm building you up, you know. And we are only doing fail madi. We will not touch mudaria. We will only do fail madi. Okay? So, we start with madi means past tense. Huwa. And then I write down hiya. Uh, no, sorry, not here, but huma. Huma. And then we are doing hum. Now this is, brother and sisters, third person masculine. And then I'm doing here, here. And then I'm doing here, huma. Okay. And then I'm stopping here, and I'm doing hunna here. And then I'm doing anta. Antuma, Antum. And then, Anti, Antuma, Antum. And then, Antunna, Antunna. Then, Ana and Nahnu. Okay. All Nahnu. All the verbs in the root form that I wrote previously, I said, He sat, He went, He left, He drank, He wrote, huh? okay, He heard. Okay, I said he, he, he. So what is the meaning of it, brother? In the root form, uh, which is past tense, the, it is always singular. Third person, masculine. Hmm? No discrimination, brother and sisters, but that's the way the language is. Huh? It is always hua. We start with hua. Take any verb. It will always be hua. Huh? Masculine, third person, and singular. Are you? Hua is third person, it's masculine, and it is singular. So keep that in mind. That is why we start with a hua. Huh? I will start with Zahaba now. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Zahaba. This is again I'm repeating, because it's good to repeat, you will get stronger. Probably you were too busy in the weekend with a family. You may not have enough time to refresh yourself. Now, Zahaba means he went. Okay, Zahaba is fial. What is the meaning of fial? Action. If there is a fial, if there is an action, there has to be a doer of action. 
You cannot have an action without somebody doing it, brother. Huh? And if action happens without somebody doing it, uh, that's a miracle. And that only Allah can do it. But we have to do it something, okay? So then we have <coughs> fiel, okay, brothers and sisters? Fielun. And what is the doer of action called? File. Huh? You will remember this, huh? File. What do I call file in English? Subject. And what is the fiel? Word. Okay, brothers and sisters? <coughs> So, now, I, as I said, if there is an action, there has to be a doer of action. So, Zahaba, okay, Zahaba, where is the file? Mustatir, what we call it? Mustatir, huh? remember this word, Mustatir, means hidden. Mustatir means hidden, okay, hidden, okay, fine. I am putting a star here, huh? Okay. Now, how do I say two people went? Look at it. First, I write down the word. Zahaba. And then, I say to it, Alif. What is it now, brother? Zahaba. Okay. Where is the verb? Where is the verb? Zahaba. Where is the file? Alif. Alif. Because I add it. So now the file is a part of it. Huh? Part of the... They are together. This is a very beautiful thing in Arabic language. Huh? Brother and sister. So Alif is the file. And there is a technical name. Uh, uh, sister Mainas, in the handout, there is a page, number seven, uh, Brother Muhammad. Hmm? Later on, you will check page number 7, and it explains everything. But if I explain you now, and then you will read the page, inshallah, it will be very, very clear to you. Okay, but the next one, whom? First, I write down the verb, zahaba. Okay, now I'm adding wow. I'm adding wow with a sukun. And brothers and sisters, this aleph, is a spelling rule for the time being. Huh? This is Aleph. Whenever you will have home, then you will see Aleph also written. Okay, brother. Because of wall, I change this Fata into Dhamma. So this is Zahabu. Are you with me? This is Zahabu. Where is the file? Wow. Where is the fiel? Zahabu. Huh? Without wow. Zahabu. Where is the file? Wow. Now remember, these are pronouns. And these I'm putting are also pronoun. Because Aleph is equal to Homa. And wow is equal to <coughs> Hom. Okay. Now, I say Zahaba. Okay, and then I'm putting here open ta with a sukun. How do you pronounce it? Zahabat. Huh? Zahabat. But I, at least you will remember this. What is this ta? Ta utanisi. What does it tell me? That the doer of the action was this time feminine. a feminine. Okay, where is the file? Mostatev. Never ever say this is file. Brother, I have a very weak heart. I'll get a heart attack. Huh? Okay. Asman phat jayega agar aapne isko file kar diya to. Huh? Okay. Sare gulistan ke uh, phool uh, jo hai wo naraz ho ke gir jayenge. Agar aapne isko ta kar diya to. Huh? Okay. Murja jayenge. Huh? This is tau taani si. Where is the file? I'll put a star. It means it is mustatir. Huh? Fine, brother. Now I say to you, Zahaba. And then, 
I put ta here. Now, brother, I put alif. Huh? I put alif. Okay. Because I put alif there, huh? then I have to make this into fata. So it became zahabata. Huh? Tell me one thing. Where is the verb? <coughs> zahaba. Huh? Zahaba. What is the next thing? Tautanisi. And what is the next thing? File. Huh? So see, this has got three sections. Fiel, Tautanisi, and File. Huh? Remember this, brother. And then I told you a story that we want Hunna to come and join us. We had agreement made by the lawyers. And we all uh, consented to her conditions. What is her condition? Okay. Hunna says, if I join you, then this is the, my condition. You will have to do this. And that condition is that Lam Kalima should get a sukoon now. That's the condition. Okay? From Hunna. So, brother, it will become Zahab. What is the verb? Zahab. Where is the Fa Kalima? With Fata. Ain Kalima? With Fata. But Lam Kalima with Sukun. We have to remember that. And she says, not only you should treat me like that, but every pronoun that follows me should have the same treatment and respect. Huh? So we have now here Zahab. Then we have here Zahab. Then we have here Zahab. Then we have here Zahab. And then we have here Zahab. We have here again Zahab. And again Zahab. Then again Zahab. Are you with me, brother? See the sukun on third radical? Lam kalima? Now we add files uh, to it. Because file has to be there. Uh, there cannot be a fail without a file. Okay? So here, Hunna says, take noon from me. So we took a noon. What is it called? Now, how do you pronounce? Zahabna. Okay. I ask you, brother, Zahabna. Where is the fail? Zahab. Zahab. Where is the file? Noon with a fata. This is called Nunu Niswa. Noon of uh, Niswa, ladies. Okay? And then Anta. What will happen now, brother? Zahabta. And then, brother, Tuma. And then Tum. Then Ti. Tuma. Tunna. And then Zahab. Now Ana becomes Tu. And this becomes Na with Alif. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Is it, is it uh, clear? Huh? So starting from Hunna, Lam Kalima gets a Sukun. Huh? And then the files come. Okay. See, I made two separate groups. What was the reason? Sometimes I don't tell brothers and sisters till we go in book two. But this is a special class. Huh? Probably in the evening class I won't mention it. Because they may not be able to digest it. But I will mention to you because I mentioned last time. If you see clearly, huh, brother, is this Alif? Is there a vowel sign on it? No. Then what is on it? There is a Sukun on it. Huh? I already put a Sukun here. And if I put a Sukun, normally we won't write Sukun on it. But just for, for us to understand, I put a Sukun. Okay? This is one group. And these pronouns which come as a file, they come as a file. Uh, they are called sakin pronouns. When it is a sakin pronoun, then the lam kalima has a proper vowel sign. Do you see fata and dhamma? And now, brothers and sisters, here the files 
Look at the files. What is on Nunu Niswa? Fata, a proper vowel sign. And then Ta, proper vowel sign. And then Tuma, two proper vowel signs. Tum, then Ti, and then Tuma, and then Tunna, and then Tu and Na. They are proper vowel signs. Uh, we call them harakats, tashkil, harakats. Huh? So then the scholars say that this group is motaharik pronouns. What are they called? Motaharik pronouns. I wrote down, but I will write down again, brothers. We have a group called sakin pronouns. And then we have... Mutaharik pronouns, mutaharik pronouns. Now, inshallah, you will try to remember them, but I will be saying it many, many times. So, inshallah, it will always refresh you whenever I mention it. Now, Sakin pronouns are these five. Even though there are two Two pronouns are mustatir. But the scholars have made this into a group of sakin pronouns. Five. And then this side is called mutaharik pronoun. Whenever there is a mutaharik pronoun, brother and sister, the lam kalima gets a sukun. That's the rule. Huh? Okay. Now, this rule, <coughs> Dr. Saab mentions at the end of book two. When the weak letters are coming, weak verbs are coming, then the knowledge of Sakin pronouns and Mutaharik pronouns makes it very easy to understand. But I'm trying to give you hints now. Inshallah, you will remember. Huh? One more time. If there is a Mutaharik pronoun, then... Brothers and sisters, the Lam Kalima will have a Sukun. Huh? If there is a Sakin pronoun, then the Lam Kalima will have a proper vowel sign. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Having said that, we should try to repeat it. Huh? Okay, ready? Zahaba, Zahaba, Zahabu, Zahabat. Zahabata, Zahabna, Zahabta, Zahabtuma, Zahabtum, Zahabti, Zahabtuma, Zahabtunna, Zahabtu, Zahabna. We have sheets for you, photocopy, that you can practice at home. I request you to do every day two of them, not more than two. Two is good enough. Huh? Dodo Goli, Dodo Goli, yes, pro. Huh? Uh, okay? uh, it, it will help you, brother. Honestly, I became very strong in verbs by doing these things. Whenever a new verb came, I say, I must conjugate. Uh, but then, as you will see, the sheet has got many things, which will, we will learn each column as we go along. Uh, we are only doing the first column. And now, I tell you, Jalasa. Can you put Jalasa here? How will I say now? Jalasa, Jalasa, Jalasu, Jalasat, Jalasata, Jalasna, Jalasta, Jalastuma, Jalastum, Jalasti, Jalastuma, Jalastunna, Jalastu, Jalasna. Inshallah, you'll become expert, huh, brother? And next one, brother, let us do Kharaja. Kharaja, Kharaja, Kharaju, Kharajat, Kharajata, Kharajna, Kharashta, Kharashtuma, Kharashtum, Kharashti, Kharashtuma, Kharashtunna, Kharashtu, Kharajna. Let's do now Raja. Raja, 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 U, Raja, At, Raja, Ata, Raja, Ana, Raja, Ata, Raja, Atuma, Raja, Atum, Raja, Ati, 
Raja Tuma, Raja Tunna, Raja Tu, Raja Na. Let's do Kataba. Kataba, Kataba, Katabu, Katabat, Katabata, Katabna, Katapta, Katabtuma, Katabtum, Katabti, Katabtuma, Katabtunna, Katabtu, Katabna. Let, let us take one with her. Ain kalima kasra. Samia. 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 We must always think of Shariba, tea drinking. Huh? Huh? Okay? Shariba, Shariba, Sharibu, Sharibat, Sharibata, Sharibna, Sharibta, Sharibtuma, Sharibtum, Sharibti, Sharibtuma, Sharibtunna, Sharibtu, Sharibna. Okay, now if I tell you, brothers and sisters, if you make mistakes, don't worry. This is just a beginning, brother. I, I, you know, I tell you one thing. If you make a mistake, it is normal. It is normal to make a mistake. But every day, we will have a few minutes of practice of the verb. Tomorrow, I am not going to explain you. We will straight away say the verbs. Huh? Okay, if I tell you, he drank, what will you say to me? Shariba. If I say to you, she drank. Sharibat. If I tell you, I drank. Sharibtu. If I say, we drank. Sharibna. If I say, you drank. Sharibta. If I say, you as a feminine drank, you will say, Sharibti. If I say, all men drank. Sharibtum. If I say, all sisters drank. Sharibtunna. Got the idea? Now, today, your mind is thinking before saying normal. But later on, you will then get into practice. And in a fraction of a second, your mind will say correct thing and think correctly. Okay? Let us try one more uh, thing. I went. Went is Zahaba. Kharaja is, I left, went out. I just went. I went to the masjid. So I said, I went. <coughs> uh, I went. The verb is zahaba. Zahabtu. See? If I say, I went, zahabtu. If I say, I sat, jalastu. Are you with me? Huh? I say, we went. Zahabna. We sat. Jalasna. See how it comes? He sat, jalasa. She sat, jalasat. You sat, jalasta. You sat, jalasti. We all sat, jalasna. Got the idea? Are you with me? Okay. One more time, inshallah. I wrote. Katab. Kataba means he wrote. I wrote. Katabtu. We wrote Katabna. She wrote Katabat. She wrote Katabat. You wrote Katabti. You wrote Katabti. You all wrote Katabtum. We wrote Katabna. They wrote Katabu. What it is? They wrote Katabu. Are you with me? They sat. Jalasu. They went out. Zahabu. They drank. Sharibu. Are you with me? So today is the first day. So don't worry if you are slow. Because we are going to learn. And we are going to practice. Every day a little bit. And then you will get stronger and stronger inshallah. Huh? At home you will try to do two pages. From the verbs which are mentioned on page number Page number six. Huh? 
The, all the verbs that are written on page number 6, brothers and sisters, hand you will do. Hand out page number 6. You will do two at home, inshallah. Try it to get into habit of doing two at home, inshallah. Now I will, I will uh, 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 rub it off, huh? inshallah. Tamahir. Ready? Huwa, huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna, anta, antuma, antum, anti, antuma, antunna, ana, nahnu. Okay? Very good. Now we come to what we were doing in lesson number five. Huh? Lesson number five is extremely important, brothers and sisters. And if you can really understand, things will become very, very easy. In lesson number five, we study, study possessive case. To make possession or possessive case in English, we use of or Possessive S. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, how do we do it in Arabic? There is no equivalent of off in Arabic. Okay? Or possessive S in Arabic. No. We have a different method of doing. Here are two nouns, brother. Kitabun, okay brother, and Muhammadun. Okay, then again I write here, Kitabun, al mudarri su Right now I am writing su. Okay. How do I say book of Muhammad in Arabic? I will say Kitabu Kitabu Muhammadin. Okay. What happened, brother? <clears throat> Muhammad is the possessor or the owner. And Kitab is thing possessed. This is in a very simple way we explain, you know. Do you see here something, brother? There is only a single Dhamma. And there is no Al. Normally, if there is no Al, there should be a Tanween. There should be a Tanween. There is no Tanween. What is the reason that there is no Tanween and no Al? Because this is thing possessed. What is it? Thing possessed. So, we say in Arabic, this is mudaf. Huh? Mudafun. We say mudaf. And what is the possessor? <coughs> mudaf ilahi. Huh? It is called mudafun ilahi. Got the idea, brother? Mudafun ilahi. So, <coughs> whenever we have to make a possessive case. Huh? And combining two nouns to show possession, we will have this format. That the mudaf ilahi will always, always be majroor. Huh? Not majboor, but majroor. Are you with me? Okay. And then mudaf will never have al. Never have tanween, but it can have a dhamma or fataha or kasra according to the role it is playing in the sentence. Are you with me? Huh? So we remember that. Okay. So you, so uh, the, the uh, page number twenty-eight in the book main blue book, Sister Manas, uh, kitab ha, page twenty-eight. Sister Nasuri, have two set or not? I have it Oh, you have it? Okay, no problem. No problem. No problem. Huh? Okay. Can you see here? 
we have Kitabu Muhammadin, that was what was shown to us. What is the next one, brothers and sisters? Kalamun. Kalamun. Hamidun. Now, if I want to say pen of Hamid, then Kalamu Hamidin. Are you with me? Kalamu Hamidin. Very good. House, Baitun, and Abbasun. So I will say Baitu Abbasin. What is the translation? House of Abbas. Very good. Gurfatu Aliyun. Gurfatun Aliyun. Room of Ali. How will I say? Gurfatu Aliyin. Aliyin. Mudafilehi. Always Majroor. Okay. Now I say Daftarun Saeedun. So, how, I, how do I say Daftar of Saeed? Notebook of Saeed? Daftaru Saeedin. 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 Very good. Mindilun. Handkerchief. Yasirun. Huh? How will you say? Mindilu Yasirin. Handkerchief of Yasir. Okay. Kamisun Ammarun. How will you say now? Kamisu Ammarin. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Sarirun Khalidun. Bed of Khalid. Sariru Khalidin. If I say to you, Hada Sariru Khalidin. This is Khalis bed. Or if I say, Zalika Sarirun Khalidin. That is the bed of Khalid. Got the idea? Inshallah. Hada Kalamu Muhammadin. This is pen of Muhammad. Are you with me? That is the way we will say, okay, inshallah.